The cypherpunks didn't just get together, design a cryptocurrency, and succeed on their first attempt. Several early attempts at making a true cryptocurrency failed, though they came close. The first failure inspired Bitcoin to adopt some of the key features that they implemented and learn from their mistakes. As the existing financial system was one of the greatest threats to individual privacy, cryptographer David Chom implemented DigiCash using the latest advancement in public and private key cryptography. Chom himself had invented blind signatures while studying at UC Berkeley. Blind signatures allow users to sign off on transactions without revealing their identities. DigiCash promised complete privacy for users conducting online transactions and included a system of cryptographic protocols that, in, that prevented banks and governments from tracing personal online payments. Ironically, however, DigiCash failed because of what it feared the most, centralization. DigiCash was hosted by Chom's own company, and if his company ever went down, DigiCash will also go with it. And that's exactly what happened. Chom's company, DigiCash Incorporated, bore the overwhelming burden of having to validate every single digital signature in the DigiCash system, which eventually led to bankruptcy in 1998. Hashcash was originally invented as a mechanism to limit email spam. In order to send out an email, one would have to solve a cryptographic hash puzzle and provide a proof of work. Only after proving that they have expended computational resources with a hash cache stamp added to the email header, can someone send out a valid email. Email recipients can then verify emails that they receive are valid by looking at the email headers for a valid hash cache stamp. The idea is that spammers wouldn't be able to spam emails anymore. It would be too costly, as spammers' goals are to send out huge numbers of email with little cost per message. So by making it computationally expensive to send out emails, Hashcash disincentivized spammers. B-Money was an early proposal for a cryptocurrency created by Wei Dai. In 1998, Dai published a paper titled Beat Money, an anonymous distributed electronic cash system, and laid out some core concepts that will later be used to implement Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Among Beat Money's core concepts were a proof of work function, like Hashcash, is used as a means of creating money. Everyone maintains a copy of the database showing who owns what, and work is verified by the community who all work to update a collective ledger, and transactions are accomplished by collective bookkeeping and authenticated with cryptographic hashes. Workers are awarded funds for their efforts in creating money through expanding computational resources. Contrasts and transactions are enforced through the broadcasting and signing of transactions with digital signatures. These ideas from B-Money will later influence the development and design philosophy of Bitcoin.